So as much as um, people were probably shocked, Lois, when you took EPA administrators hostage, <laughs> um, I, you know, I think also this was the first time, Peter, that, that activists actually targeted government bureaucracies like, like the FDA, the NIH, and, and the CDC, all, at least on that scale. Can you, can you maybe set up a little bit about why ACT UP was at the FDA and what, what you wanted at that moment and what came out of that, that um, sort of negotiation, let's say, with, with them? This was in 1988, and ACT UP was about a year and a half old at that point. Um, but this was the moment that uh, the country really heard about ACT UP. Uh, this action led all three national news programs that night. And, uh, I was on Crossfire, which is in the film, and it was a, a huge story. And it, uh, it, it really shocked the country. It, was, it is the first time a patient group has uh, demanded attention and demanded to be part of the process and demanded that the government respond. And the FDA at that time was considered the most immovable bureaucracy in Washington. They were, you know, uh, guys with light coats on, on high. And uh, they thought they knew how, how to do things and they didn't want to change the way they did things. So we actually met with the FDA commissioner about a month before this demo with a list of demands and told him if he, if he did all of them, we, we would cancel the demo. But uh, <laughs> that obviously didn't happen. Sure enough, uh, we changed how the FDA did, did business, and it, it affected all diseases, all life-threatening diseases. They now have a much faster approval process. So we wanted, when the AIDS drugs started to come, we wanted them to come fast, and that's what. But how, how long was that approval process before you guys really took took to that? Generally, ten years, and we got it down in months. So, wow. Let's, let's go to Half Revolution, and Omar, I think you've selected a clip from the beginning of the